This is how we can maximize our RUSP. As we all know, we can make contribution to RUSP to save for kids education up to $50,000. And the government can match our contribution up to $7,200. Since this contribution can grow through investing, these are the ways to maximize these benefits. Let's look at three scenarios here. Here we are contributing $2,500 per year and we can get $500 from the government grant every year. If we can max our $50,000 contribution room, we can get $7,200 from government grants. When the kid turns 19, at a 5% annual return, this investment can bring $43,654 and our total RESP will have a balance of $100,854. Now let's look at the second scenario. Here we are contributing the entire $50,000 when the kid is born. Since we are not contributing any other years, we will only get the government grant for the first year. At 5% annual return, this investment can bring us $83,492 and our total RESP will have a balance of $133,992. Now let's look at the third scenario here. Here we are contributing $16,500 in the first year and we are getting $500 from the government grant every year. If we can max our $50,000 contribution room, we can get $7,200 from government grants. When the kid turns 19, at 5% annual return, this investment can bring us $62,386 and our total RESP will have a balance of $121,486. If you have $50,000 to contribute in the first year, go for the second scenario. If you can contribute $16,500 in the first year, go for the third scenario. And if you don't have a lump sum to contribute in the first year, go for the first scenario. Before I go, I just want to say that since this money is set aside for kids' education, it will be wiser to allocate this investment to a combination of ETFs and bonds. I hope this short video helped you. Don't forget to hit that like button.